are you? What do you want? Don't worry. I just want to know... What makes you tick? The next day, another young man's adventure will begin. Here he comes. His name is Nigel Trelawney. Upon receiving notice of his father's death, Nigel has traveled to the town of Ravenhallow. He has come to settle his father's estate. However, the shadow of a nearby castle has fallen over this small town and its inhabitants. Little does Nigel expect that his quest may bring hope to Ravenhallow and shape the fate of a kidnapped girl. Or that along his path adventure awaits him. It was my father's work that brought him to this remote place. His work. Mother said that was all he cared about, and that's why we had to leave him. I guess it's no wonder that the only message my father left for me after his death was a single sentence scribbled on a photograph of him and his colleagues. A stitch in time saves nine. He must have known that these were the last words of wisdom that he'd ever give me. Well, as the last of the Trelawney family, I will fulfill my family duties. I will settle my father's estate. I should try to find his lawyer. He signed his name on the will I received. He appears to be guarding the bridge up to the main part of the village. Excuse me. Move along. This bridge is closed for civilians until the castle has completed today's search. Search? Castle? What is that? Move along. Now. All right, I'm moving. I don't have the key for this lock. Northwest Castle, a new vision for Raven Hollow. It's disturbing how that eye stares at me. I'd feel much better if this was just an advertisement for the local optometrist. Uh-oh. There's a life buoy missing. What kind of death trap is this harbor? If I were in need of a life buoy now, I'd be in trouble. The local authorities should be held responsible for this. There are no unique qualities to be observed. It's closed. We are closed. Come back later. The Raven Hollow Port Authority. Neat building. There's someone in the office. I can see him through the window. Mm. 
Interesting. There's a commemorative plaque on the base of this statue. The plaque reads, In memory of Barnaby Barnaby, one of the first successful traders of Raven Hollow Harbor. He fell overboard 200 miles from this shore, survived on a barrel of whiskey for three weeks or more. When he finally set foot on this land, drunk like a fish and cannons in hand, he exclaimed, I will stay here and trade. And trading he did successfully do for a decade. Although he never again touched whiskey or wine, he never sobered up till the end of his time. Rainwater is collecting in this barrel. Hmm. Maybe the guys over there can help me to find the lawyer who sent me the will. Vincent left the boat here. It's possible that... Time is running out. We have to find him. I'll have a look around the village. I wonder what new adventures lie ahead. Nathan, if you're serious about finding Nora, then you'd better stop talking to yourself and get going. Hello there. How do you do? Your friend Vincent surely was done with me, ship. He messed up the motor before he left her here. I fear we won't be going out to sea again too soon, shroom old boy. Uh, excuse me? Young man, since you seem to be idle enough to overhear our conversation, perhaps you can be so kind as to point us to a local authority? Sorry, I'm not from Raven Hollow. Excuse me, maybe I'm making a mistake here, but... Yes, young man? What is the matter? I just recognized you from this photograph. That's you standing in front of my father, Dr. Trelawney, isn't it? Well, I'll be. I recognize that photograph. I have one just like it. Indeed, Dr. Trelawney and I were both working at the Smith Institute here in Ravenhollow. If I remember correctly, Anthony Trelawney's wife left him with their son more than... Twenty years ago, yes, and since then I haven't heard a word from Father. My name is Nigel Trelawney. What a coincidence to meet you here. Capellius, Dr. William Capellius. There are no coincidences involved, I fear. This is Mr. McManus. The naive-looking young man who just walked off is my assistant, Nathan. Excuse me if I'm being forward, but what are you doing in Raven Hollow, Mr. Trelawney? Have you come to see your father? I fear it's too late for that, Dr. Capellius. My father died ten months ago. I've come to settle his estate. Sorry, but who are you again? Capellius, Dr. William Capellius. I'm traveling with my associates, Nathan and Mr. McManus. Your father, Dr. Trelawney, and I used to work here at the Smith Institute in Ravenhollow. Ah, now I remember. For a second there, it had slipped my mind. So are you still working at the Smith Institute here in Ravenhollow? No. After an incident at the Smith Institute five years ago, my colleagues and I decided to cease our researches and close the Institute. Shouldn't you have heard about my father's death by now? I haven't been to Raven Hollow in recent years, nor have I heard from any of my old colleagues until recently. Do you know how your father died? Did he ever mention a man named Vincent? No, I don't know how he died. I'll have to ask this Lionstone lawyer fellow about that. You see, the only message that I got from father was this photograph that he left me in his will. His lawyer mailed it to me after his death. That note. A stitch in time saves nine. Quite a piece of wisdom, huh? Young man, don't underestimate your father. He may not have been a family man, but he was a most remarkable thinker. I've heard about many a strong man getting soft up there in the brain when he got old. Anthony Trelawney was eight years my junior, and I surely haven't begun losing my mind, have I? Nay. I think the capitalization of the letters is a Morse code message summoning me here. But still, it doesn't make much sense. Why are you searching for the police? What's the trouble? We are searching for a man named Vincent. He was one of my old colleagues, one of the nine founding members of the Smith Institute. A most dangerous man, as it turned out. He kidnapped my granddaughter, Nora. And me ship? Aye! We found the ship here. It's difficult to say when Vincent actually arrived in Raven Hollow, but he may still be here. We have to find him. He kidnapped your granddaughter? Why? That is a complicated story, and I fear it's possible that Vincent was also involved in your father's death. He swore vengeance against...
None of you gentlemen carry permission by the castle to enter this town or to linger around the docks. But still, that's exactly what I find you doing. Why is that? Who wants to know that? The name is Kane. Lowell Kane. I'm Commander-in-Chief of the Northwest Restoration Law Enforcement. You're asking our permission to enter Raven Hollow? You must be joking. Should I knock out this loudmouth trespasser and lock him up in the boathouse with the rest of the junk we confiscated this week? Let's try to reason with him first. He's clearly not aware that the town of Raven Hollow and its adjoining areas have been legally resubjugated under the authority of Baron Northwest of Northwest Castle. Resubjugated? Northwest Castle? Seems like you skipped politics class once too often. You just won yourself a ticket to lying unconscious in the boat. <laughs>